So you might be trying to figure out how you can go ahead and use Twitter. So Twitter is a very popular application. I think everyone's probably used it. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick breakdown on exactly how to use this app. It's not anything crazy. If you aren't familiar with it, you want to make your way over to your App Store or your Google Play Store. You can also just go to Twitter.com if you want to. But you, if you want to use the app, which I'll be using here, it has more features. You can go and search up Twitter just like so, and you should be able to find the application. So now if you want to go ahead and open it up, you can go and find the Twitter app. It's just a blue bird, just like so. And you should be able to open up the application and you'll see a few things. You might see a few panels come up. You might see some other things come up too, but you will have a basic breakdown like this after logging in. Now, the way your main panel works is at the very top, you'll have a for you button and a following button. So if you go and click on for you, basically the people who you know are recommended to you and whatnot, you'll get a big list of random people just you know posting whatever. So in this case, we'll see people like presidents and whatnot. Under following though, whoever you follow, it'll basically show you tweets and whatnot specifically from the people that you follow. So in this case, as you can see, I follow one person. So if we make it, if we take a look at their profile, we can go ahead and actually look at their profile or look at their tweet. And from there, the, we can see the text that they have. We can see images that they have. But at the very bottom of every single tweet, you will see a bunch of numbers and a bunch of icons. So the first icon is how many comments that tweet has. The second one where it's like two arrows, that one is how many retweets, basically how many people have retweeted it, which just brings that tweet over to people who you follow and shows that tweet to them. How many tweets that you know are liked, how many people like their tweet, which is if you don't want to retweet it, you can like it. It's a little bit more private, but your likes are private, so keep that in mind. And how many views are on that tweet as well. So if you go and click on a tweet like this, you will see those things built in a little bit more, as well as how many bookmarks. So if you want to comment on a tweet, which you can do, you can click the comment button and you can start, okay, whatever, and you can start tweeting to this specific person. So if you want to, you can say, ha ha ha, that's so awesome, whatever you want to say. And that will basically be seen by everybody. You can also leave a photo or whatnot if you allow access to all photos. So that's another thing you can do. It's just like leaving a comment on Twitter or like messaging somebody, but keep in mind these are public. Now clicking cancel up here, we can go and delete it. You can also go ahead and retweet it. So I click retweet. I can go and retweet this, which again will just show people whatever they you know see in the first place. You know, if they follow me, they'll be able to see this specific tweet. I can also like it, and you get a little cool icon with it as well. You can bookmark it if you want to bookmark it, and you can also go ahead and share this tweet out to other people. So if you click share, you can go ahead and send this via direct message. You can go and copy a link of it. You can bookmark it again. You can share via these other applications down here as well. So that is just with one tweet. There are tons of tweets and most people are not clicking on a specific icon like this of a tweet to actually view it. They're just scrolling through and finding something that interests them. Now on top of that, if you scroll past a tweet, you know, when you click on it, you will see all these icons. So these are other people who are tweeting and leaving replies. So all of these replies, it's almost like comments under a YouTube video. You will see all these types of comments and all these other things going through. So you can just go ahead and view what other people are saying. And that's another thing you can always do as well. Now swiping back out, you can basically just scroll through again. You'll see all these tweets. And it's basically more or less the same exact thing. Whether it's the For You panel or it's the Following panel, you will see all that information right there. And that's all you kind of have to keep in mind with that. Now, if you swipe to the left, you'll basically see another panel. So if you swipe to the left, you'll basically get into For You. But at the bottom right, you will see a little blue icon. This is how you make your own tweets. So that just keeps to be seeing. I don't know why there's so many things like that. So now if you wanted to make your own tweet, if you wanted to say what you're doing or a thought or a thought that you have, you can always go into here and write down exactly what's happening. You can leave an image. You can voice record yourself too if you want to. So there's a lot of options that you have here. So if you ever wanted to leave a tweet or you know tweet something, you have it here. There's a lot of icons on here too. You can post a photo, a GIF. You can put like a poll. You can put your location. And you can also even leave a tweet as public or within your Twitter circle, which is another cool thing. If you want to tweet, you can click tweet in the top right corner. If you want to cancel, you can just click cancel. Now, if you swipe to the left, so if you grab the side and you swipe to the left, you will see a few more options on the left side as well. So you'll see your profile name up here, which you can always just go and click on your profile icon to make your way over to your profile page like this. So that's the one thing that you have, which is pretty cool. We you swipe again to the left side right here, you'll see Twitter Blue, which is your own, which is basically the paid service within Twitter. If you want to buy it, you can. It's kind of a waste of money. You have topics bookmarks, lists, Twitter circles, and the list goes on and on. And the bottom left, if you want, you can go and click here. You can go and you can enable dark mode. You can also dim and put lights out if you want. 
but these panels aren't really anything crazy. I think most people know that a side panel gives you a little bit more information. Now with the bottom row, this will always stay consistent, no matter pretty much which page you're at, unless you're in like a weird page of Twitter, this will always be here. So the first little icon is your home page. So whatever tweets and people you follow, that's pretty much always going to stay consistent. Now that second icon, which is the search bar, this is where you're going to be able to search for different things that's going on. So here's like news that's trending. You can see if there's like certain sports stuff going on, that's going to be up here. And you can see at the very top, you can scroll through, just like how we can scroll through on our main page, about trending stuff, news, sports, entertainment, tons of different things. Now, if you're looking for a specific person on Twitter, or if you're trying to view a certain topic, you can always click the search bar up here, and you can go and type in whoever you want to go ahead and search up. So in this case, if I search up my other account, I can go and click here. I can find my other account. I can follow myself. That's another option that I have here too. You can also turn on notifications here if you want to, which is another really cool thing. So you can see that's another example that we have, and that in and of itself is a pretty cool thing. So now if I want, I can follow and view and do whatever. So that's another thing that's pretty awesome. Now hopping back out of here, this middle icon is Twitter Spaces. So it's basically, you know, things that are going on that people are in rooms with. So you can go ahead and, you know, join a Twitter space and you can basically hear things that's going on. So people having conversations. So you can go ahead and basically just go into Twitter space and pretty much go on from there, which is actually pretty cool. Now, this fourth icon right here is basically notifications. So if for some reason, you know, your people are following you or whatever the case is, what you can go ahead and do is you can go ahead and, you know, basically get different notifications that people are following you. Or if there's really anything going on, you can go ahead and basically see that coming up here. So if people are following you or if you're you know, getting comments on a tweet, all those icons are going to come up right here, which is pretty cool. Now you can also click on see who's verified or you can see under mentions. And that's another thing if people are mentioning you or whatever the case is. So that's another thing you can do as well. So that in and of itself is pretty awesome. Now on the bottom right at the very end, you do have your messages. So what you can do is you can go ahead and see your other messages that you have here. So direct messages, if people are messaging you, whatever the case is, you will basically have all that information come up here. So these are your DMs. So again, if somebody's coming through and if they're you know messaging you in particular, you're going to see that information come up right here. And that's basically all you're going to have to do. Now, another big thing to keep in mind is within other people's profile. So if you swipe all the way to the side, as I mentioned, you will have your profile icon come up here. But if you want to, you can always access some other person's profile. You know, as you can see right here with Bill Gates, if I wanted to go ahead and, you know, check out this person's profile, I can just click on their profile like this and I can go ahead and follow them. So in the top right, I can go and follow this person. So now I'm basically seeing this person's profile, which is pretty cool. I can go ahead and see what I need to see. And from here, I can see how many followers they have, how many people are following them, as well as all the tweets that they have, all the replies that they've made, media, likes, They're, you know, because likes are public, I'll be able to see all the likes that they have as well. If you want, if it's not a celebrity or if it's a person that you know, most likely, which you can always do on the top right, you can go and click on their three dots right up there. And you can go ahead and customize your profile, your relationship with them. If you want to block this specific person, if you want to mute that person, if you want to report that person, their information is right there. If you want to share their profile account, if you want to view their list or whatever the case is, there's a lot of options that you have here too. And you can always message them if their you know, DMs are open. If they're not open, I doubt this person's are. So there's not much you can do here. So that's another thing you can always do as well. So... The final thing I'd probably recommend everyone to do, if you do download the Twitter application, just make sure you update it as often as you can, because if your application is not up to date, that is probably going to cause some issues in and of itself. So make sure you're keeping your app up to date as often as possible. And that's pretty much the main things to do. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, help me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.